Hello. This is this is gonna be uh, a whole lot different than most of my other videos. Uh, I guess you call it a compound. I've made two other videos in the past as uh, responses and not as from a, a request from a viewer looking to go more in depth into something, but as a response to something that they have said. One was to John Doe in references to whether I thought uh, seasteading uh, we could create our own MGTOW uh, uh, utopia. <laughs> Uh, as I said in the video, I don't think it's going to happen, but at the same time, I don't see any other group of people with as wide range of, uh, set of, of skill sets, um, and with the collective, uh, expendable income, like being able to squirrel away, uh, a couple thousand a year or something like that. And and I believe that I explained that it would take some time to even attempt to pull it off. And then my other response video was in response to a comment of my Queens of Disease video. Uh, apparently it was someone who didn't like the fact that I was getting all my numbers from the CDC and the health department. So I kind of made a uh, video in response to that, uh, mainly because it it actually sounded like a woman uh, trying to go and make her case. Uh, I'm also going to have another video to follow up on top of Queens of uh, uh, Disease. I've come across some other stuff, and oh god, is it disgusting. <laughs> One thing in particular, <clears throat> but this is, uh, well, as some of you who have gone around to my other videos, I am not afraid to have, to sit and have a conversation. Sometimes when it gets to close to four or five in the morning, I get tired. Uh, I understand that as a result of different time zones, there's people from all over the place. Um, but yeah, if you have a if you have a question, a statement, or anything, message. I check it. Uh, I've kind of been a l on a little bit of a uh, vacation, uh, mostly as a result of taking some time off for Labor Day. Uh, then after posting my last video up, uh, Is Your Junk Legal? Uh, I decided I was going to try a little experiment, essentially to see as to what would happen. Some of the uh, responses, comments, were uh, predictable. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, in response to uh, Zorin uh, operating system, I like it. Uh, <laughs> now, great job on that. Uh, at your age, and the fact that you are using Linux, uh, and you are able to understand it, great news is you're going to have a leg up. The bad news is you weren't using it and fully in depth into Linux a few years ago. Because as a, I don't know if it's changed any, but I do know that a few years ago it, it, they were advertising on the side of i75 that uh, if you even knew how to use Linux, we had a fifty to sixty thousand dollar a year job. For waiting for you if you can actually just use Linux. Uh, <laughs> uh, keep that in mind, and oh, as far as, you know who I'm talking about, as far as this, keep an eye on some of the new chips. They figured out a way to go and cool down a uh, a chip down to uh, 
a negative 225 uh, uh, degrees centigrade without any uh, external, uh, external cooling equipment. You might want to check that out. That's going to that's going to become a primary hardware component. I, I have a feeling in the near future, about 15 to or so years, which should put it right around your uh, age group as far as technologies. Now, I, sorry, if I'm sniffling or if I hack or something, a uh, little bit of a cold, uh, temperature here says temperatures here have been varying greatly. Now, why I'm on here today? Well, tonight, today, whenever you're watching this. Oh, one, by the way, I did watch uh, Unhung Hero. I, that was one of the reasons why it took so long. I decided I was not going to make a response until I had actually watched the video that was uh, uh, suggested. Uh, you are right in a number of... Uh, uh, as far as as similarities, especially between the wife and the fiance, um, but we in this sense we have a man going on a journey of self uh, discovery and some very terrifying moments. <laughs> I really feel sorry for the other camera guy. <laughs> um, you have one where someone's going on a journey of self-discovery. And in the other context, you have a man that was publicly shamed and essentially told that his existence is illegal. Uh, which is where I want to uh, continue the rest of this video. Uh, I'm going to read two responses. Um... Honestly, after I had gotten the first two, I had thought that if I was going to wait another couple days, that there would be a few more, but more haven't popped up. And maybe it's maybe it's the title. I don't know. Uh, honestly, I really don't care. <laughs> but uh, let's start with uh, B K O L Ban. Not exactly sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that. Um, but uh, your comment was, What I find most outstanding is you spend almost 15 minutes talking about misandry and objectification. Yet, you have no problem with calling male genitalia junk, including in or the title itself. Talk about irony. Uh, in a sense, you're right, and I applaud you in your efforts to point it out, and I applaud the pointing out of irony in all things. It is a source of humor, it is a source, it is a source of, uh, well, technically speaking, as a result of brain chemistry, it's also a source of dopamine, but, uh... <laughs> It's a source of humor. It's a source of levity. Uh, take joy in it. Uh, now, as far as objectification, uh, for me anyways, uh, calling my, my junk my junk is more a colloquial thing than uh, objectification. And the said can be and the same can be said about uh, pussy, cunt, twat, you name it, it's been used. All right, I even in a conversation I was having a while back, a few weeks ago, it was even referenced that in the movie Highlander Endgame, uh, I believe the uh, line was uttered by uh, the character Jacob Kell. Uh, in which he's speaking to another character uh, named Kate or Elizabeth, whatever her name was that century. Uh, Duncan knows her as Kate and his uh, ex-wife. <laughs> but 
Jacob Kell uh, is talking to her, and at the time when he met her, she was a prostitute, in which they were in uh, in her uh, modern, up to date uh, bedroom. They're having a little spat, in which he sits and explains to her that a woman's body is like a sewer. Now, is that objectification? Not really. Uh, That's honestly kind of why I put in the whole stupid uh, Calvin Klein thing that uh, don't try calling crap out that's not there. In which case, you you did. Uh, <laughs> uh, and that is honestly one of the more humorous things, is that you essentially fell for it. Where I grew up, if I, even, if I said the word penis, I'd get smacked. As well as the vast majority of males and females in the area in which I grew up. Same thing if you said dick. Schlong, Tellywhacker, Purple-Headed Yogurt Slinger. It really doesn't fucking matter. You want to say because I said junk, how do you know I wasn't re- referring to the Japan or the Chinese junk, a boat in a boat design that has been around for centuries and has essentially facilitated trade across the entire damn planet? If that's how I meant it, then that's a fairly impressive compliment. But truth be told, that's not how I meant it. I meant it as it is my junk. It is all the stuff I have dangling in between my legs all the damn time. That is my junk. I said junk twice in the video and once in the title. Now, if you want to say I'm going throughout the whole thing calling it junk and whatnot, then no. And yes, I am expressing the use of my junk as junk as much as I can because, well, apparently you are no better than some dumbass academic feminist who is more interested in, in, in semantics, improper, well, essentially... At, once again, you're still not even referring to proper English. Uh, you're just wanting the proper terminology. Uh, I was going to say you wanted uh, perfect grammar, but that wasn't even it. You just want perfect terminology. That is about as that is about as close as the PC stink hole as you can possibly get. All right. Now. <laughs> junk is a colloquial term as a result of that none of us around here can say penis dick or any of the other wonderful names so we have uh, we have adopted junk both males and females uh, to be used in reference to all the male dangly parts and you know what I like all of it it's, I don't just like the right nut or the left nut I, I don't really have a favorite uh, and I'm sure as hell a fan of the Colonel. He's got Sesame Street. I got my own. And you know what? I listen to him. Sad part is, when it comes to women, he tends to know as to which ones are psycho or not. What? The interesting one, the one I actually want to get to, is this one. Frontier Guy 449. Now, let me sit down here. I, you know what, never mind, I'm going to stand back up. This is, okay. Frontier Guy 449. I fail to understand why men, speaking for men's rights, continue to refer to their genitalia as junk. Okay, if, dude, 
and if you are a dude, which from the wording here in this paragraph so far, the first sentence, you don't sound like 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 you have a Y chromosome. You sound as though you have a duplicate copy of your X chromosome. Uh, I don't know too many guys that use this type of terminology. If you're going to try and troll another another channel, you might want to brush that up a bit. Now, I continue. If you are referring to the penis, scrotum, and testicles, perhaps a better term would be package. Yes, uh, so we've gone from objectification to essentially being told that all of our shit should be in a box. That would be a package. Well, it's one term of package. You could all see as a bundle of sticks or... Uh, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different packages. I mean, we have packs of cigarettes over in England. Uh, <laughs> now... Think of the negative impression you are giving to young men and boys in calling men male genitalia a derogatory term. You are simply reinforcing the feminist view that men are defective. Do you ever hear feminists re refer to their vaginas as the stink hole? Uh, actually, yes, I have heard that, uh... I've actually heard a few other ones as well. I don't know how many of these psycho nutjob feminists you've met, but I've actually met quite a few. As a result of actually being confronted with some common sense, many of their daughters woke up. Not all of them. And on top of that, uh... The ones that didn't are really freaking nuts. Now, as far as getting away from terminology, because I believe I've already explained that it is a colloquial term. You know, like y'all or yonder. Yeah. So go get bent. And I'm not going to change my speech patterns or the way I talk or the way I think in order to accommodate you by trying to control any language or by trying to control the language that we use. You're trying to, con to control the parameters of any conversation that we have. And as far as that goes, fuck off. Now back to the negative impressions and then comparing to feminists you're getting into the realm of feelings this is not the realm of feelings and I do not believe I have ever called myself a true MRA I am not a men's rights activist at one time yes I was interested in it and I can't say I was active, active, but I was active in absorbing as much information as humanly possible. Well, at least for me. Now, in this, like many other MGTOWs, we have realized the MRA essentially doesn't, isn't going to get what it wants unless there's some pain. That pain is apparently the absence of cock and wallet. Okay? As we see in Japan, the absence of cock is going and driving the women insane to the point where they are going on sex vacations, you know, this whole sex tourism thing, over to Korea and China. So yes, the absence of cock I'm, yeah, good. I I can use a dolphin. Uh, come on, pick a name. Apparently, junk doesn't work for you. Really? What is what you call junk? I'd call crap. And yeah, yeah. 
it's a colloquial thing, so get the hell over yourself. And you really do sound like a chick, so work on that, uh... Work on your grammar there. Uh, well, actually, it's not exactly... Well, it technically is grammar, since it's, uh, since it is, uh, sentence structure. But, anyways, I digress. A derogatory term in feminism. Yet, this is what you focus on, yet I notice you purposely, I almost have to assume at this point, that you purposely avoid even the mentioning of the fact that this is Icelandic law. You want to go and bitch about the terminology and feelings which is a fem which is a female tactic while ignoring the facts and focusing on the facts which tends to be a male tactic all right and acknowledging and realizing you're bitching <laughs> you're bitching about semantics yet claiming to be a man and yet not one peep or even reference to the fact that apparently, if your dick isn't at least five inches long, that is not a legal penis. Not one mention of that. You want to talk about objectification and bitch about how I call my own junk my junk. If you want to call it something else, do it. It's supposed to be a free fucking country. But as far as trying to control anyone else's language, no. Yeah, you know, as far as that goes, I cannot even get my head that far up my own ass to even come to a point where that even Sounds like a good idea. <sighs> you want to compare feelings to the fact that men can be legally held accountable for whatever genetic lottery they won or lost. That's like saying that if a chick's cooter doesn't apply 30 foot, 30 foot pounds of pressure per square inch in tightness, and it doesn't meet uh, uh, and her fluids don't meet X amount of viscosity, then that is not a legal cooter. Do you hear that? No. Why do I go by that? Because the most absurd thing I could think of in this five second period of time. You want to try and turn this into a semantics debate. That is the... The very fact that both of you sound like chicks and you're using female uh, socializing tactics would essentially, at least to me, anyways, it looks as though you're trying to infiltrate and try to understand why you have been permanently dislodged from the cock carousel. If that is the case, there are a number of reasons, and there's no easy way to say it, but, honey, it's just easier if you get off. It just looks better. Less of a scene. On the other hand, if you're looking over, if you're looking over here and wondering why guys aren't paying for dinner or anything, well... Uh, this shit's been coming for a long time. And we've been holding it over your head at least 
that I know of since the late 80s of, you know what, we're just eventually just going to stop paying for it, for all these dates. And then in the 90s, uh, going Dutch, and for a while it was fashionable, and then all the chicks started bitching. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So, no. You're coming over here to try and figure out why some some of us have decided, nope, it's not worth it. Now, I don't know why you would want to troll my channel. I have less than 400 subscribers. And, you know, uh, I didn't actually get on here for subscribers. I got, on, I got on YouTube to vent a few ideas that I had. And then as I got going, it honestly, I, I've said this before, it is actually f kind of therapeutic in a way. So if you get a chance, I recommend it. It, it. it might actually help you go and work through some of your issues. And I know this is really freaking long, and this is one hell of a rant. But I have no problems getting online and having a conversation. But when you want to sit there and play semantics and feelings while trying to compare a, a colloquial term to a law, there's, <laughs> I think you have a couple things out of balance. Well, I'm going to be trying to, I'm going to try to get the, uh, another, the other video posted soon. Just to point, put this out, I'm not out here to put a video out every day, if that's what you're looking for. Sandman does an amazing job. Uh, the uh, Straight Shooter also does an amazing job. Uh, these are just two of the, of, of the many, of the plethora. Sorry, I just saw Three Amigos a little bit ago. Uh, the plethora of uh, uh, of uh, MGTOW content. And I must say, once again, we are not arguing for men's rights. We are saying there's no point in the fucking game anymore. That's not men's rights. That's saying, go, go, have fun, shoo, you are damaged people. Get away from me. But yeah, there's a plethora of MGTOW content. And this has been gone over many times. And I think some of us agree we should be able to call our junk whatever we want. But if you want... If you want me to try and go and change how I talk to better to better suit your mental or emotional states, you might be on the wrong in the wrong site. Those those are the MRMs and the uh, MR uh, and uh, and the MRAs. Um, that's a whole different category of videos. Well, have a good day. I just wanted to vent that a little bit.